My name is Joy Niemannen, and I'm the coordinator of the Native Nurses Entry Program at Lakehead University in Thunder Bay. And um, my background is has been um, always been a little bit of teaching, but more so gerontology. So mm -hmm. I've been a, for many years a gerontological nurse. But I taught study skills in the Native Nurses Entry Program for a number of years. And um, so when the last coordinator, last manager left, um, I was recommended for the job by her. So yeah, so now I've been doing this for about five years. Wonderful. Yeah. <clears throat> My name is Dolores Wauvier, professor Emerita of Lakehead University, having taught here for 39 years in the Faculty of Education, Native Studies. And I've been involved with the community and with the university in the Native uh, programs or Aboriginal programs, Indigenous programs, whatever they want to call it. <laughs> and, uh, and since I retired four years ago, at age 70, I started here as a young woman, and they uh, nominated me as an elder a few years ago. You can't nominate yourself. you got to be recognized by the community. I became an elder, and so I get involved. And when um, Joy Neiman and, uh, and I met, she asked me if I wanted to sit on her board of directors, and I said, sure, I'd like to get involved even though I've been in education, but I'm also a teacher and a storyteller, so, and I'm involved with her um, students, like a grandmother to them. Our target audience is um, any uh, male or female um, Indigenous uh, person who's interested in um, pursuing a career and becoming a nurse and receiving their Bachelor of Science degree. Um, so we typically we have, uh, it could be 18 year olds, it could be maybe we have uh, older moms that are in their 30s or 40s. Um, there's no age restrictions, but you do have to have indi the Indigenous uh, heritage. The aim of the program is to um, produce or have more Indigenous nurses that are, are able to give uh, better cultural-centered uh, care. And um, the program was set up through uh, affiliations with um, uh, the, uh, certain Aboriginal bands and um, certain Aboriginal people. May Cat was really involved in the, in the, uh, you know, the idea of the program. Uh, the program did originate in 1985. So, um, currently, I'm having my 33rd intake of students. The program has really grown um, with different ideas. We, we, um, we definitely want to have Indigenous <coughs> sorry, content in our, in our program. Mm -hmm. So um, the English professor uh, currently, you know, she's been studying Richard Wagami's books and using that and we t always try to have the Indigenous content and, and study skills. Uh, during the long winter months, I do art therapy with, along with lessons, um, incorporate lessons. So the students really respond to uh, not only lectures, but hands-on kind of activities. And we really try and promote that and have that in our program. The program, like I said, this is my 33rd, this is the 33rd intake. Um, so it, I would say we were successful because we've been around for so long. And as of today, there are 94 um, uh, applicants to this program that have uh, received their BSCN in nursing. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really excited and waiting for that hundredth person. It's totally different from uh, non-Indigenous. Uh, I've known that uh, since I started teaching. 
uh, there wasn't any native education or even the concept of it. Mm -hmm. But I knew that we learned differently uh, and uh, were motivated differently. And uh, for instance, uh, <clears throat> some students are happy with lectures, sitting out there writing, jotting notes down. But uh, us, we learn by watching. If you want to learn how to be a, a nurse, you go watch a nurse, follow her around and see what she does and all. That's how you learn. Um, and we learn by actually doing. As children, we're never told, go away. This is uh, for adults only. We're allowed to uh, watch. If there's a baby being born, we can go in and watch it being born. They're not, we're not forbidden. So we learn by watching, and we also learn by listening. There's a lot of oral history in our programs, uh, well, in our culture. You learn by listening to stories, listening to our elders. And uh, so learning by watching and listening and doing, actually getting involved. But to sit back and, and listen to a lecture is not the way we learn. We're not motivated that way. So all my years of teaching, I taught that way. And many students like the way I teach. They said, I wish our math teacher was like this, or, or our chemistry teacher, or any of those things were like that. It's through storytelling. They remember things. So that's what we do by hands-on activity and talking to people letting them watch if we're doing something. Well, I certainly want to see our program continue and carry on. Um, I think there's still a strong need for the program. Uh, I know young Indigenous students often don't have the background in the sciences from the high schools, and maybe their high schools don't offer the U or C uh, courses that they need to get into programs. So I definitely... I see that there's still a need for the program, and I really want it to continue for another 10, 20 years, mm -hmm. <laughs> or as long as it takes until we're caught up and there's equal footing for education. Mm -hmm. I want to see it continue because I originally started with the Native Teacher Education Program mm -hmm. from day one in 1975, and it amalgamated from a two-year program with one year of university uh, into an honors bachelor of education, native education. So it grew. Mm -hmm. We don't have that two year program anymore, mm -hmm. but it still exists. And uh, we're training our teachers to meet the needs of native children mm -hmm. and the community and the parents and getting them all involved. So it's still continuing, but in a higher form. Mm -hmm. And with the this uh, program, I want to encourage uh, uh, young people to come and uh, become a nurse. I wanted to be a nurse at one time, but uh, I chose to go into teaching instead. I couldn't stand the sight of blood. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that students need to realize is that um, the Native Nurses Entry Program is um, when you take the program and you receive a overall average of 70%, you're guaranteed a seat in the, in the Bachelor of Science mm -hmm. of Nursing uh, degree program. And I think a lot of young students um, think they can't handle university. And uh, if, if you're thinking that way, I would say don't think that way because we provide a lot of supports to try and get you through. The toughest course is chemistry. Mm -hmm. So again, it's science is the toughest course, but I provide tutors. They're built right into the timetables. And uh, a lot of students will take pre-health mm -hmm. first, mm -hmm. and it's a, an entry-level course as well. But it doesn't give you the guarantee of getting into the nursing program. So I'm really trying to suggest that people come and try uh, this out. And mm -hmm. you do have, uh, students do have, are able to, you know, if they don't make the chemistry one year, they can, they have, can take up to three years to yes. do this. Yes. And I know myself, sometimes that you need to, 
get used to the swing of things. Mm -hmm. So I've had new, uh, quite a few students come back and, and complete it. Uh, like they don't complete the first year, but then the second year they come mm -hmm. back, they do it, and then they get into the nursing program. We have quite a few feasts, and we, feasts, we yeah. do have, <laughs> we always have uh, usually food, and the coffee's usually Wonderful. always on. And I think the, the value of the program is that the, they're a cohort of usually 15 or 16 students. Usually mm -hmm. that's the kind of a typical number of student, students per year. Mm -hmm. And you get to know your fellow students and, you know, that's good. It's really good. You've got yeah. more support with that too. I do monthly check-ins as well with students mm -hmm. and I report back to bands because most of the students are band funded. So mm -hmm. um, they give me permission and I report back to the bands on their attendance and their marks. And the students like that. They like to have me talk to them once a month how they're doing and get a plan or, you know, go over things and try and help them as much as I can. I want to add that uh, I thought about becoming a nurse because uh, I spent five years in the tubercular hospital mm. as a child mm. and, and nurses and doctors were the only people I knew in the five years I was there. Yeah. I didn't even see my parents mm. and uh, so I wanted to be a nurse and I chose things that would help me I was one of the first candy stripers. We had a hundred of us in the 60s, mm. and I took part in that and uh, got in my uniform, was happy to be in a hospital and uh, try to help as much as I could, but I decided to go into teaching after, mm. and that's where I stayed. But uh, we, um, I find that our students are motivated uh, differently, like in terms when they start thinking about the career Usually they've got two or three children by then, mm. and uh, their children motivate them to go back to school and to think about them, uh, the schooling, especially when they become students. Uh, family is very important, mm -hmm. and uh, so they continue on with that. And I find that the students here are all family, like we want to be happy family. Enjoys our cook. <laughs> <laughs> she's always bringing food. Oh, home. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, and uh, and she's very caring. Mm. That's what I find, found out. I we only met about a year and a half ago, <laughs> and uh, I thought, well, she needs help, and I'm going to come along and be a, a support for the students. So I often talk to them as an elder, as mm -hmm. a grandmother from the community. Uh, like that being native like them yeah. and gone through the whole system and worked and retired. So uh, I like getting involved and we both do a lot. And I, I don't mind sharing, like bringing my native uh, bannock. Like, mm -hmm. to, uh, I made this molasses raisin bannock to the students as a sort of a dessert. Mm -hmm. And I bring candy kisses now and then. I put things out for them. Uh, I just like being somebody with something in my pocket for the kids. <laughs> I consider them my kids.